I said, hey, I got some new shoes on and suddenly everything's right. Hello chaps, well we are in the unit this morning with yes, the new boots. 21 quid from uh, Sports Direct, I think. Anyway, I'm having a look at uh, the gaskets that we put in yesterday. I've got the colour of the liquid now. So it's really started to bring out some of those chemical compounds from the contamination, but the rubber is supple, it's really nice. There are a few little bits on there though that I think uh, could do with a bit more soaking, so I'm actually going to leave them overnight again. So that'll be two days. I know you can leave them for up to a week in this solution, so I'm not concerned about degrading the rubber or sort of dissolving it away in uh, any real terms. It should be fine sat there for a while yet. So we picked up some stuff from Screw Fix yesterday. Different type of varnish this time, but it's still a water-based floor varnish, just like the cheap stuff that we had from Tool Station. Just they didn't have any in stock locally. Also picked up a safety visor for when I'm playing around with caustics and acids, get the PPE in place. Yeah, anyway, a couple of them. Six pound from Screw Fix. That is a bargain. Just remember to move, remove the protective film from inside and outside, otherwise you ain't gonna see Jack through that visor. I picked up two of them for that kind of price. Nice to have a spare. Then we've got five by eighties, five by seventies times two, five by hundreds, five by sixties, and five by nineties. Different pack for some reason, but I used up most of my screw stock building that deck yesterday and the day before. So I've replenished. So today I think I'm going to come in to the brewery side again. I'm going to whack a load of stain on the decks because already the kids are up and down the, these uh, platforms mucking around and we're just going to end up with stained footprinted timber. These need another coat also. What are you doing Chance? Playing football again. And if I've got time, I will stick a bit more paint around the HB logo. Need to do the circle around it. And my intention was to play around with this uh, plate exchanger to try and get, well, pressure test it effectively. But of course, we're going to wait a little bit longer for the gaskets. So I will delay that. And I also need some fittings and the two plates that I had to weld the holes closed on. I just need to continue to dress these. I'm trying to do it so I don't go too thin or too thick with the weld that I've got to remove because I had to pull it on to make it not burn through the really thin sheet steel and now I just have to dress it back. I've got two of these to do, one still to weld and then both of them to dress. So I'll probably do a little bit of that today actually because that's something that I'd really like to get put together to see if we can chill the work when we're brewing of course. Well, I've had a couple of hours grinding away at the uh, the plates that I've actually welded up. Let's see if we can get that in focus. But I don't want to hit any of the gasket edges, you know, where the gaskets sit and damage. I don't want to damage that. So it's slow process, slow progress. It's a slow process, so I've decided I'm just going to grab a paintbrush and whack some varnish on at the decking just for a change of job really. the uh, 
front and back plates, very little deformation, they're pretty straight. Clean both sides up, hit it with a little buffing wheel, grinding wheel and buffing wheel to try and get most of the uh, lumps and bumps and crevices off, but I'm not going to be too concerned because I don't want to burn through, it's very thin. So what I'm going to do now is just liberally apply some pickling paste just to remove the staining and clean the uh, plate up a little bit. But yeah, that's about that done. We'll give her a few minutes and come back. Oh, we're actually a good half an hour in. So let's pop some water on here and just get rid of that that acid, that pickling paste. Oh yeah. So there we have it. You can see how we filled the holes in. I think obviously if I uh, had more tools to do this I, I could get that flat. I don't have the polishing discs but you can see apart from a few lumps and bumps there is uh, it's accessible to all the cleaner so if anything does get in there the cleaner should be able to get in there also well sometimes I do daft things uh, and I'm not sure if that's what I've done this time round but I found another one that's got holes drilled in one end where it should be a blank so I don't know if I've just gone and filled in one that wasn't a blank uh, or oh, there were three that should be blanked on one end but two of them I know were blanked this end so this one's the only one that goes that end so I'm guessing that this is the back plate so I'm just going to repeat the process if I cock it up I can either drill them out again or we've got an extra blank so it just means missing out an extra plate which over 26 plates I'm not bothered if I've got 25, 24, 23 if I'm honest because I don't know if I've got enough gaskets you see so yeah I'm going to set it up again, not quite sure what I've done, I can't go back now and uh, I haven't got any close ups I don't think of the plate beforehand so whether I've just sealed up a perfectly good one or not, well that remains to be seen. the tip a couple of times this is the finish that we've got on the two new holes that I've had to fill in not too bad clean them up and we'll have a look at the other side Uh, five past four already crazy so I've got the uh, plate chiller down on the side 
I figured out how all the plates go in, which was good, but there's no back plate here. So you see there'll be no gasket, because the gasket will be on this side. So the back plate will have no gasket on it. And you can see in the past the imprint of the chevrons, if you like, on the back of here. But I'm worried that as that piece of stainless there sits against this piece of stainless, it will leak product and water. And they had this on before, which is like just a rubber gasket. But what I don't like about that is while it may work temporarily to seal against that section, it then opens up, look, you can see the gap, you can see through there. So when you clamp down where these bolts are, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of flexing the sheet. No good to me that. So I've ordered some silicon sheet, which is a meter by 500. It was 21 quid on eBay. And what I intend to do is cut out a section, the full size of this. So when we clamp this bottom plate against the back plate, it's clamped and the compression is going to be spread evenly across the length of the sheet. Hopefully preventing any, any creases or deformation. So like I say, it's a little bit later than I anticipated to stay. I'm going to give Gemma a quick call on the telephone. See if we can get her down here to come and pick me up and uh, I can go home and relax for the last few hours of the weekend. And then when I come in tomorrow, I think what I'm going to start to do is just finalize the stain on the brewery tanks start bringing out the pipe work for the cooling system. We're gonna to have to determine whether we're gonna use, what we're gonna use for the cooling system, should I say. So I do have uh, the old AC unit that we threw away from IVB uh, over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, when we got the new system at Idle Valley, the old one was just gonna chuck it away. Uh, but I wangled it into my shed uh, on the way to the tip so we didn't tip it and I've got that so I might use that I don't think it works though that's the problem so we might zip that down and have a play with it uh, if anything we'll just order some glycol if we can get a glycol bath up and running then we can implement cooling for for the fermenters at the very least and if it is working as good as it was back then uh, then we might be able to do what we did before and hook it up and pump some cold air into a cold room but we'll see like I say it was destined for the tip so chances of it working are pretty slim uh, and it's quite old and we really we really flogged it when we had it that's why I, of course at IVB uh, I got SIL services to come and fit us uh, a big chilly unit and I built the massive new cold room and glycol circulation system which I don't even know what's happened to that now I think it's been stolen but uh, yeah we shall see I'll probably start on the cooling and uh, get positioning things hopefully the pump will be here as well tomorrow or the day after and we can start to get everything in position ready to sort of push the button Anyway, like I say, I'm going to give Gemma a ring. I'm only going to ramble now because I'm literally, while I wait for her, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of inconsequential sanding or something on something like this. And there's no point getting the camera out for it. So we'll just come back tomorrow, folks. We'll see you then.